So Manchester United are making plans for next season with or without Eric Ten Hag. We already know that they're keen to speak to Gareth Southgate or a potential role at Old Trafford next season, Roberto De Zerbi, Thomas Frank. And I've also been told now that Wolves boss Gary O'Neill is in the frame to be spoken to by the club's new regime, the new football regime, about a role at Old Trafford next season in terms of a coaching role. We don't know if it's a coaching role or if it's a managerial role. I, I imagine from what I've been told that it's more to discuss potential role in a new setup behind the manager, maybe a first team coaching role, but obviously right now Eric Ten Hag is the manager in charge, but the situation is that if Ten Hag's future isn't resolved by the end of the season, if United you know, decide to make a change, then you want to have the best options available. And the situation right now is that Ineos, who are now in charge of football operations at Old Trafford, want to canvas opinion throughout the game as to who are the best young coaches, who are the best managers, who are the rising stars, and O'Neill at 40, he ticks that box, he's got a very kind of High regard within the game as to his coaching ability. Get Bournemouth in the Premier League last season. He's done well with Wolves this year. Tends to the top half finish. Now his name will cause a lot of shock among United fans. I don't think he's going to be the guy that's going to be the next manager at Old Trafford, but certainly in terms of potential coaching role, United will be very interested in speaking to him. Whether Wolves are as keen to let him go or to have United speak to him is a different matter. He's under contract, he's got a three year deal at Molyneux, but still, Jerry O'Neill is a player, is a coach that has got a lot of admirers out there. And if Man United can speak to him and discuss a potential role, it suggests that he's got a big future going forward, whether it's at Molyneux or somewhere else.